as you can tell, it is shooting light. What's up everybody? We finally have some somewhat cold weather here. Welcome back to the video, by the way. Uh, so, today, obviously, we're goose hunting. We're laying in white. Uh, there are a bunch of birds in the area, but they tend to want to jump from field to field to field. But Tristan's out here scouting. They come to this field first, and then they sort of just bounce around from there. But typically, they've been getting up a little bit later. So, uh, we're killing a little bit of time. I forgot my spinner. Had it on the charger, and I didn't pick it up, and so... We are currently duckless, which, oh well. But, uh, wait, let, look at this thing. We've got all these whites here, all that. Um, though, before we get into the game plan for today, we're gonna give a big shout out to our sponsor, Dive Bomb, because they're awesome. We got 30, 30 dozen dark silhouettes. We've got, I think, 15 dozen dark socks out. We have five dozen tall white socks, uh, 15 dozen head, <laughs> headed socks, and then Tristan has some headless ones sprinkled throughout there. But I do want to show you, if you're laying in white, one thing that you need to have, at least if you like being comfortable, is the kickback. Okay guys, I am super excited to show you this hunt. Really, really excited. But first, here's our game plan. So. Uh, we were sitting on a quarter of ground. Um, there's a little bit of ground to the south of us that wasn't stuff that we could be on that was wheat. That might have treated us a little bit better if we got closer to the middle of it. But the birds were sort of in this corner the day before. They'd been jumping from field to field. They'd been all over the place. Uh, there was a good feed in this corner and there was a outfitter in that one. Uh, the good old guided group there. Uh, but birds are coming from this roost and this roost. There's a big roost about three quarter mile um, to the north of us. And then there's also about three-ish miles uh, to the west of us was another good roost. A lot of birds came from that way that got shot by uh, the outfitter group there. There is wheat above us. We're sitting in wheat that was put into, I believe it's corn stubble. I said Milo stubble in the video. I'm pretty sure it was corn stubble. Uh, there's more stubble over here and more wheat and stubble and different stuff up on this side. Now, this group shot a lot early. Then we had to compete with a live feed here when the birds, they, they got shot at here, got real, real leery because they'd kind of be working in this area and you know they'd shoot and then they didn't really like what we were doing here and so they ended up starting a big feed here. And we, I mean, we picked off enough stragglers, you'll see, you'll see all that. And then after that feed started, another feed started down here late. That got huge as well. But uh, we set up, we're a little bit further over here than what it, you know, my picture describes. It, we weren't that close to the middle. We were over about three-fourths away. But we set up right here at the top, had whites in on top of us, as you'll see, and then we had dark silhouettes in below us. But all these decoys here, all dive bomb. And I was seeing a kickback. Now one thing I do want to say about that kickback though, uh, especially when you're laying in stubble like that, if you guys have laid in the spread before, you'll know how much it is just not fun to lay on top of stocks. They, they just make life miserable. With a kickback, you don't have to worry about any of that. I highly recommend getting one. I, I thought it might be a little bit big at first. No. I, and I ordered ghillie suits, or not ghillie suits, ghillie blankets. They just came out like a couple days ago. I'm pretty excited to get those since it's going to get really, really dirty. But guys, you can go check out the kickback. You can just tilt them up a little bit. You can lay them flat or you can tilt them way up. But I like to tilt mine up just a little bit. I like to use the armrest. You don't have to use the armrest. Absolutely killer product. Blown away. And they work really well with those tall socks. Uh, you'll see in the video, I'll show you closer to the end, uh, what the spread looks like in a little bit more detail. But anyway, big shout out to Dive Bomb. Get down there, click on the link in the description, and uh, go pick yourself up something nice. So, uh, there's another group I, I figured I might tell you guys about. They're kind of catty corner from us across the road, and they've, they've lit into a lot of birds. A lot. So hopefully uh, we don't interfere with each other on when one's working and the other one shoots and all that good stuff. But we're going to take what we can get and uh, hopefully uh, 
both of us have a good day but some of these birds are getting a little bit worked over before they get to us so we'll take what we can get right behind us <laughs> More to the right coming. <laughs> Well, you know, awesome things happen when you think the camera's on. Uh, we had two come through and just absolutely get destroyed. Not by me, but they got destroyed. But we got three more that are thinking about it, so. Uh. It's a speck. Good shot, I got the last shot. Well, they smoked that boy. All right, there's another one. Hey. Ah. Lots oh, of birds man. coming. <laughs> no wonder those three got distracted. I like that snow uh, being so willing. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> He's right on top of us. Holy cow. Should we shoot him? Should we give him He'll we probably land. Shoot these guys. <laughs> that felt good. Uh, there was that snow though. He yeah, really wanted to die. Oh, yeah. But anyway, there's another bird down. You on there? Yeah, kill him. Oh, that was awful. That was awful. Well, better luck next time. <laughs> okay. Well, now we know uh, that that wasn't our shot this time. <laughs> Dang it. Well, the other group shot. So those birds are probably leaving. Don't know till we find out though. What? What? Dang it. There they go again. Once again, the birds come down a little faster on their side than did ours. He is he coming down quickly. That poor right. speck. <laughs> He's right in front of us. Kill him, yeah, kill him. <laughs> yes, sir. Thump. Finally. <laughs> oh, them juvies. Justin knows how to speak the language. <laughs> <laughs>
I had to pull the one more time. Shot. Hadn't shot in a while. Felt good. Big spins are fun, but man, sometimes a single or five or ten, that's where the fun's at. But. Is it because there's too much influence of the big group? I'm, I just, it's hard for me to pick a bird out of a big group yeah. sometimes. Well, you start going all over. You yeah. Don't. What? 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 I got one. That was cool. I knew as soon as I'd come out here and wait for those pigeons, that geese would come. And they did. And uh, I got one though. But maybe I can get these pigeons too. I dusted one. Let's go get that goose. Always get these. Where's my other one? There it is. Wait, threw it a long ways. Okay. Go get this goose. All right. I think I belly shot him. Okay. Time to get set down. Chip at him some more. <laughs> Trying to control, trying to do controlled breaths when you're a little winded from running back to the blind is something I'm not good at. <laughs> uh, hope we can chip a few more out here in a second. There's a few that are interested. It's like they're bored. So for the last about half hour or so, we've been competing with the live feed. That is that way. So we have another group of hunters that way and a live feed that way. Less desirable. But that doesn't keep us from trying. There you go. <laughs> oh. That was a good shoot. We almost got them all. Nice. That was good. That felt good. That'll work. Whew. Now we just need a few more. Box. All right. Been sitting on my butt eating summer sausage. Time to run this guy down. Hey, bud. All right. Uh, I need to look at shot cam because that might be. I don't think it's more than four, but I want to look, make sure. Anyway, we're scratching at him. Not epic, but we're scratching at him. <laughs> at least one's coming back. <laughs> no, come here, dude. Don't make a liar out of me. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's coming back. And then he just instantly flips around and goes the other way. Oh, well.
What is that? Kill him? Yeah, I got the blue! I got a blue! <laughs> yes! Nice! Awesome! Good job. That's the only one I wanted, to be honest. So excited. All right. I'm a little pumped in case you can't tell. Uh, let's look at this bird. What? No way! Yeah! It's... Look at oh that. my god. Are you sure that's cool. just not just a dirty juvie? Well, look at the belly, dude. It's in look at uh, the got some coming behind us too. I want to say that's a dirty juvie. Don't get me too dude, amped look up. At the wings. That's got to be a dirty juvie. It has a white head. I know, but a, a juvie blue maybe? I no, beak. <sighs> beak would be what? almost orange. I'm dead serious, dude. This is a I don't know what to do. Let's sit down and Canada. process a little bit. Hybrid Canada. There's, I There's promise you, dude. I gotta make some. Man, he's got all that brown. That's a pretty. I one. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I do. I don't know what to do. I gotta it's start sending hybrid, pictures to people. Dude, I promise <sighs> you. Anyway, we got stuff to kill. Hopefully, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> They're right above us. Did you shoot them? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Holy cow, that group got up off the feed over there. Looks like blackbirds. Holy cow, looks, it does look like blackbirds. <laughs> it's just a big black mass moving off the field. Well, uh, we could probably stay out here for another hour or so and get one, maybe. But look at how effective this spread was. Could have done a lot better. Could have done a lot worse, but hey, we did what we could and it was a good day. We had a great day. Let me show you, let me show you some stuff real quick. So, uh, here's our, here is our home. We'll look at him a little bit more, a little bit later on here. But, there's a pile, I think Tristan had like four. Anyway, there's, there's a good bunch. We had a couple of juvies here and there. Come on, get this juvie spec out here. Yeah, actually I think he was, actually, there, there's his bar. Look at that, one, one bar spec. Anyway, we got a good bunch of birds, but uh, we gotta get stuff picked up and get out of here, so. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going with this. I'm still a little bit flabbergasted. So uh, we'll get this picked up and I'll pick you up here in a little bit. Well, thought I'd show them to you real quick. Look at them. I don't want to mess with them too much because, uh, you know, don't want to disrupt the feathers and stuff. But once I get him back from the taxidermist, whenever that is, you guys will actually see him a little bit more. I'm thinking dead mount. What do you guys think? I'm, I would possibly consider like a standing mount or something, but on his breast, he hit a, a Milo stock and uh, that's a good cut. But he's got them blue feet. Crazy. Anyway, time to go get him in the freezer. Well guys, uh, that was the video. And I, as you could tell, I did not believe, well, I'll just put it like this. I didn't really think that there was ever a chance of getting a hybrid. It's nothing that's ever crossed my mind. I mean, I've always thought it would be cool or something like that, but when I see something flying around, 
typically my mind goes to it looks like something that it's not. Like, you know, you know when you just shoot an odd blue goose or something like that and it just looks kind of weird. I didn't want to believe it because I didn't think it could happen to me, but I am so glad it is because that is, I am so excited about that bird. But uh, I want to know, have you guys ever shot a hybrid? How many of you guys have? I mean, there's a lot of really cool ducks. Now that, that particular goose, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure that there's one I'd rather shoot. But, well, except for maybe a Ross Cross. A Ross Canada, that would be pretty cool. But neither here nor there. There's some really cool duck hybrids, and I'm sure one of you guys, at least, has shot one. Let me know. You don't have to say where you're from, but I'm kind of curious what state. You know, that's pretty broad, right? And uh, what the cross was. You know, what, what, what hybrid was that? Because all of a sudden, I got hybrid on the brain. But anyway, uh, I am sending that goose off to get taxidermy the end of the month. I've um, been talking to a guy. I'm really excited. I need your guys' suggestions. Like I'm going to I'm going to go with what that taxidermist would want to do um because I trust the guy and I think he'll do a really good job, but I would love to see your guys' ideas on uh, you know, what what you think I should do mount-wise. Like I've always thought dead mount cuz I would put like a lesser and a snow next to it. But there could be some really cool other mounts. I, I'm not sure. I, I just don't know. So, could use your help there. But anyway, big shout out to Dive Bomb for sponsoring this video. Couldn't have done it without them. Laying on a kickback underneath Dive Bomb socks, in front of Dive Bomb, or behind, behind Dive Bomb silos. They are an outstanding company. They make high quality products. They will always treat you right. I am trying to think of one time that I have heard anything bad about them from, you know, especially a, a customer standpoint. Uh, I mean, obviously not everyone is sold on the silhouette idea. Most times it's because they haven't hunted with them a whole lot, but neither here nor there. Guys, go down there, check them out in the description. There's something for everybody. I mean, look at this hat. If nothing else, go pick out a sticker or something. They got some pretty cool ones. But anyway, big shout out to Dive Bomb. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, yada, 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 all that stuff. I would really appreciate it if you actually did. But anyway, whether you guys do or don't, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.